Coconut Gaming. Hi there my friends, I've got a new toy and I'm going to do an unboxing of it for you. Um, Mithril and I have been saving up to get one of these, um, not specifically this model, we waited for enough money for we decided on the model, but saving up to get one of these um, as a replacement to this. So that's our old air booth. This big box has got our new air booth in it. Let's crack open the box and we'll see what we've got. So it's a big beast and as I say we've been looking to pick up a new one for a while because the other one just doesn't do the job very well. It does a job, but not well. Give you an idea what it's like in the box. How it comes. So, box is a bit bigger than the beastie itself, but it's still nice and well packaged. So, what we have attached the outside here is the hood. Just try to be careful where I cut, make sure it's only cellar tape that I'm cutting here. So this here's the hood. And a set of instructions. Tell you one thing, they've sellotaped taped everything down very well. So the actual hood is just um, plastic -y sort of stuff, the corrugated idea um, that you get. You might be able to see down the side it's just that corrugated stuff. Now this I'd actually prefer if they made it in the clear corrugated stuff rather than the white corrugated stuff um, just to allow more light in as we'll see but I can live with it, I've got plenty of light in here but if the manufacturer ever ever watches this then it could be a good idea because this will mount this way when we get it set up. Just try to be careful where I cut with this and not rushing in. Because I don't want to damage anything. So it's just lightly touching with a knife. So sorry I'm going a bit slow because of that. Bit of polystyrene protector. Another bit of polystyrene protector on the other side between the filter lock offs. Let me just move that knife out of the way so I don't stab myself. There we go, the new beast versus the old beast. So it is a bit bigger and um, hopefully it will also do a hell of a lot more. On the raw stats when you look at the two, um, this supposedly takes out about double the amount of paint on airflow. So you can see immediately that getting dark when I put that hood on. So. Manufacturer, whoever you are, bench vent, if you're the manufacturer, if you ever watch this, make this clear, let the light in. Um, that's a nice secure fit. Now the unit comes first of all with the extractor hose. And it can also be used in that position, or if you want, you can lie it flat and use it in this position. Whatever's easiest for your desk and whatever's easiest for your 
actual workstation and your workflow. Um, so we'll get the baby set up and we'll show you what it's a bit like in action. Actually, before we set it up, let's just open it up and give you an idea of the filter. So, there we have our fan, plug units, and our filter box. So it gives you a look at what it's like inside. And nice for your rubber seal there as well. So side of the unit, as you see, is where you plug in, down at the bottom here. Reasonably long power cord. I'll get you a proper measurement, stick it in the doobly-doo. Hopefully you can see that um, as I turn it on there, if you want an idea of the airflow, watch the hose, you'll see the amount of hoses there going through the hose alone just as you turn it on, as the hose grows. It's alive! Just another way I can demonstrate the airflow, bit of tissue. So, it's certainly giving a good suction to be pulling the tissue on and holding the tissue on. So yeah, certainly grabbing at it, so it's moving a lot of air around the room anyway. Now this hose, I'm going to probably be buying an extension to it. You can actually feel that really strong coming through. Um, this hose I'm going to be buying a plumbing extension to it just to extend the hose so I can reach it out of my room just because the way I'm set up in the house it won't give me just enough stretch because it's still a good solid feeling hose, it's not a flimsy hose. It feels good tough material. I promised that I would be putting an extension on the hose. Here we have the extension. It's a three meter extension and a few bits of gubbins that I bought. I shall put a link to all the separate parts just in case you want to make something similar yourself. But I've now got the vent running all the way out. Tried it, turned it on and the airflow is chucking out the other side. So vent and everything out of the house, which is exactly what I wanted. So that just leaves us ready to try it. As I was saying about the darkness, but I can light it amply, but I would suggest yourselves um, make sure you get enough lighting as well. Right then, so to give this a fair test for the first review, I'm going to be painting these fellas in the airbrush. So this is my Mecha Knights um, for Dread Ball Extreme. They'll get grey primer, Vallejo all over. And then I've got five separate batches, which will get these specific colours to try and test it out. So I've got my faded John Deere green and my Vauxhall red, because red Vauxhall colour always fades out towards a, a more pinky hue than the strong red it starts. So I think there should be enough components to give this a fair whack, a fair test. Well folks, I'm going to call that a spectacular success. Colour laid down across all the stuff that I showed you. Um, I didn't wear a mask as I was doing it because I wanted to test the theory of how good is this to actually use. So I would normally wear 
my full on painter's mask um, but just for the sake of science to see how we got on with this didn't bother with the mask and blew my nose at the end just to test it because if you don't if you airbrush and you don't normally wear a mask give your nose a wee blow and you'll see all the paint come out of it that's what's normally in your lungs um, perfectly clear um, I've laid down orange, green, red, yellow and blue red particularly is one of those paints that if you're putting it down you notice when you blow your nose oh Christ um, and didn't happen so air was perfectly clear um, I did get a couple of wee whiffs of paint um, and was spraying it down um, just <laughs> that wee instant whiff and then it was gone um, every now and again um, through the process I was airbrushing for about an hour um, roughly so air would normally with the old um, air booth would certainly have some paint uh, particles particulate throughout the air zero this time so recommendations of it um, if you do go for this air booth everybody else in the room probably doesn't need to bother with a mask if you're the person spraying for your own particular safety yes wear the mask um, but from the scientific experiment that I tried um, I didn't have any issue with with paint when that nose blow test that you can do so exceptionally impressed by the the air booth um, I'm glad because it ain't a cheap air booth but it ain't a dear one either because there's ones which are four or five times the price um, but it's no, not a wee introductory level one either it's a wee step up so big thumbs up from me um, really like it um, hope the review has been useful to you So a wee test that Mithril thought we could use to demonstrate the effectiveness of the actual extractor is stick an incense stick inside the air booth um, and then see all the smoke go straight into the actual extractor. I'm not going to do this for too long because I like the smell of my incense so they'll be taking this back out so we can actually have it around the living room but as you can see it's getting pulled almost straight off at the horizontal before starting to rise so it's a good strength. So the reason for that wee pause there, Mithril's at the other side of the room and she's hand gesticulating and making signs to say NO SMELL! NO SMELL! Because suddenly she's got camera shy and won't just say it, so sorry for the wee pause but absolutely no smell of the incense anywhere else in the room um, and we're burnt maybe, maybe a tenth of the stick so normally you're already starting to smell it quite strongly throughout the room um, before it starts spreading to any other so I would call that a, a decent way of demonstrating success as well. Take care everyone. Have a brilliant day and stay safe in your hobby. So just so you've got an idea, there's that same incense stick in the living room. You can see the amount of fumes that's already spewing up. And that was there within about five seconds of placing it there, the smell is all around the living room. It's a pungent one with you, just to test it. Yet when the air booth was going, nothing. So overall, very, very happy with it. Um, and again, hopefully that was a good way of demonstrating how, how successful the booth is. So all the besties again, take care.